Hallettsville, a movie filmed in Texas stars Gary Busey and former Churchill Charger Derek Lee Nixon. You know, Tyler uh, comes uh, from a good family. His grandmother passes away and his family inherits uh, a ranch out, or a ranch, like a 300 acre ranch. And they decide that they're gonna sell it because of the taxes, they never go there. They go out to the ranch and, or he invites his friends. <clears throat> Mark being one of his friends who actually lives with a ghost. Um, Luke, his best friend, his, uh, his girlfriend of five years, April, uh, and a few other characters, they, they end up going out to this ranch together before they sell it for uh, a weekend of fun and sun type thing. When we get to the ranch, everything is different than what we expected. Objects moving around by themselves, little scary ghost kids seen out of the corner of your eye and, and something that definitely doesn't want us there. You want to hear something creepy? What? In the early 1900s, it was a school on this property where a bunch of kids got murdered. Shut up. It's true. He had 10 kids in his class. In what year was the Alamo fought? 1836. And what battle followed? One day he became ill. <laughs> First-time director Andrew Poza is also from the San Antonio area. Uh, I transferred from Southwest Texas to UT to get into film school. Uh, I wanted to be writing and directing, directing mostly. What I've noticed with first-time directors, I've worked with a couple of uh, first-time directors, and they just, they're very indecisive. When you're a director, I mean, especially on a budget, you know, we had half a million dollars to shoot this movie, you have to just have everything planned out. He did an excellent job. I had no complaints as far as uh, as far as any of his work is concerned. He's he's been great, and I would continue to, he wrote, to he hire wrote, him. He wrote it as well, and he directed. Yeah, he it. wrote the screenplay. So he kind he kind of knew, you know, what he was getting into because mm -hmm. you, you know it was his you know it was, it was his script. So, but yeah, he he uh, he was he was definitely he was he was good, you know, as as a first time director. And you know, handling Gary Busey was probably his his toughest task to be able to actually moderate what he's doing. <coughs> I'll go ahead and talk about, there's one scene in particular, and Andrew will, will talk about this as well. Uh, when Gary Busey's walking into the basement, he had to say, ah, uh, basement. Uh, so our basement was three different locations. Like you walk into the house, and that's the first location. You open the door. Now the, the stairs are around the other side of the house. We built a door going in that run down the side of the house. It looks like you know, you're going down the basement. And then the basement's on the back. It's a porch, right? So you shoot a film out of sequence. We already filmed where Gary walked into the house and he said, where's the basement? He's got a flashlight. So this, we were filming, it's his very last scene, it's the very last thing he's filming. He walks into the basement and he shines his flashlight around and he's like, uh, the basement, right? And then, so now I got one more take and you know, basically I just want to do it again but without him saying the basement. So I'm like, Gary, you know, let's do it again. Uh, you know, good job, let's cut the basement. He's like, what, why? I was like, well, you know, it's just, you know, a little expositional. I think maybe we could, you know, cut it out. And uh, he's like, well, it's not expositional for me. It's expositional for them, blah, 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 blah. So um, I was like, well, let's just lose it. So he takes me outside. He's like, can we talk for a second? And I go, yeah. And he's like, you know, ah, blah, 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 blah. I'm putting my heart out there. You can't just give me that. He's like, I'm going to do it your way. But, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's really upset. Um, so he comes in, he does it, and he storms off to the trailer, and we're done. And the first AD is like, you know, you don't want to end it with... Gary like that. I was like, oh, he'll call me into his trailer in a second. So he does. And he comes in and then proceeds to tell me that the basement, him walking in the basement, was the, the keystone of his character arc. And that, you know, that's where everything changed for him. So he would like to record it wild, which means you just record the sound while you sit quiet on set and you don't shoot the video. And uh, so I said, would you like to do it wild? He goes, yes, I would. So we went to record it and uh, it was like quiet on set. It's like action. And he sits there and he's like, the basement basement the basement 
And then the first AD goes, are you done, Gary? And he goes, no. It takes like another minute of just saying, the basement. Oh, God, the basement. Where is the basement? It's over there. Friends and family of the cast and crew gathered outside the Palladium IMAX as San Antonio was selected for the location of the screening, the only time the film will be shown on the big screen. The star-studded affair included all the highlights that you would normally get at a Hollywood premiere, including a walk along the red carpet. So how did you end up playing this part in how it's the Howitzville movie? Uh, well, I had worked with the director before, with Andrew, and so he just brought me on board to play the role of Kristen, who came out to Austin. Are you from San Antonio? I'm not originally from, I'm originally from El Paso, Texas. And what do you think of having the premiere here in San Antonio as opposed to a place like LA? I think it's great. I think there should be more films here in Texas. I'm a Texas native, so I'm all in support of Texasville. Did your character survive to the end? I survived to the end. I mean, you'll have to see how I survived, you know, what, what, what happened along the way. But yeah, I survived. So what was it like working with the Gary Busey? The Gary Busey. I mean, he is one of a kind, that is for sure. Was, we call him little Buseyisms that he does. What are they, acronyms, where he takes yeah, a word yeah. and he splits it up and tells you letter by letter, you know, what, what like life means to you. It was very, I mean, it was, I learned a lot. It, it was, was interesting. 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 It was very interesting, interesting. yeah. All right, what brings you out to the Hallettsville premiere? Well, uh, Derek's a good friend of mine. He's uh, one of the writer-producers, and a lot of the people in the uh, cast and the production are from San Antonio, and I'm a big uh, supporter of San Antonio film. Uh, so uh, I've got my own organization here called Cine Studio San Antonio that's trying to create production classes for kids from my old neighborhood. So uh, the more I support projects like Hallettsville and the Derek, the filmmaker, then uh, you know the more it's going to do something good for San Antonio and San Antonio film in general. And of course, other stuff that you've been doing lately, I mean, you've been on 24 ER, and you play the Skinner on one of my favorite shows, Dexter. Um, one question, how is, how is it on the Dexter set? It's great. You know, I work with Lauren Velez, uh, who played uh, Detective LaGuardia, and I like it like that. And I know Jimmy Smits, you know, from coming up in the business together. So it was great to be able to get together with them. Uh, and then Michael and Jennifer and David Zayas. I mean, all those people are great. And they've built up a, a great ensemble cast, and it was really great being able to just walk into a show like that and do what you know what you're good at. So, you know, it was great. <laughs> All right, is Michael C. Hall as creepy as his character of Dexter? No, he's a nice guy, man. He's a really cool dude, you know. The screening of Hallettsville in San Antonio was indeed a rare opportunity for the city. Hopefully, it will inspire other filmmakers to do the same. Lawrence Goins, EssayCurrent.com.